Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now I have Springfield, Massachusetts Artist Boss Dawn. Hit the description box below. You're going to find a link there that's going to take you to Boss Dawn's music page. Please share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on, Sagittarius. Today, someone asked me why I'm going back to back, why I'm doing Sagittarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, Taurus. And so I basically do what spirit tells me to do. I feel like there's some kind of conflict that the two signs are having in the spiritual realm, in the 5D realm, not in the physical but I feel like both signs are heavily thinking about each other right now. So you could be dealing with someone who has Sagittarius in their chart, right? So even if Sag is not their sun sign, it could be their moon sign, their rising. So that's something that you might want to take a look at. Spirit, talk to me about Sagittarius. Talk to me about Sag. All right. So, bottom of the deck. You see what I mean? This is Taurus at the bottom of the deck. All right. Or you could be dealing with a Libra. However, the Empress is ruled by Venus. Okay. Now, we have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Justice card, Libra. We have Aquarius with the star energy. And then the Three of Pentacles. All right, so Sagittarius, your energy coming out here as the Five of Wands. This is a conflict, all right? This could be in the physical, but I feel it to be something that's more... In your mental space at this time so you're going back and forth about something trying to figure out which path to take it's probably disrupting your sleep all right and it has to do with more than you and this other person you're thinking about the other people that are involved as well which is something that's concerning for you. We have the Ten of Swords energy. So this is ending. This is a completion. It doesn't always mean that this is forever, right? It means that there's a transition, basically. Just because something seems like it's ending, it doesn't mean that it's permanent. Okay, there's just some sort of evolution, a metamorphosis that needs to take place in order for some connection in your life to not seem so stagnant. I think that part of the reason why you're so annoyed with a certain connection is because there are some choices that you may not be ready to make in reference to confronting how you truly feel about someone. It's like you feel that you can't move for some reason. I almost feel like you're settling. It's what it feels like. You feel like your cards were already dealt. When in fact, that's not true. I think there's way more of life to live, especially when it comes to what it is that you really do want. There's an element of the fact that you may have detached from your true desires. And I feel like for a while now, it, it seems like 
you've been just thinking of the bigger picture in terms of what's the safest route to go down or, you know, what's my future going to be like if I do this instead of actually thinking about who it is that you really love and where it is that you really want to be type of thing. With justice here, this is all you want. You want to be able to not be so anxious anymore. And you don't want to keep going back and forth with someone. And right now, it's troubling to you. You just don't understand why someone's behaving the way that they are. And the more that they continue to do a certain thing or act a certain way, it's throwing you off. And I feel like you're having to talk to someone about this. You probably are already talking to whoever this is that I'm picking up on about this situation. We have the star here, so this is the desire to start over, okay? It's like you wish to come back together with someone. But I feel like you're still fighting with the idea. All right, so let's take a look at your person. Spirit, please talk to me about this person that Sagittarius thinks about. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Okay. We have Pisces energy with the moon. So they're very mysterious at this time. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius thinks about. The Five of Cups. So this person is sad. All right. I feel like there's guilt here about something they may have said or did. Tell me more about this person that Sagittarius thinks about. The Five of Swords. They feel like there's a lack in communication and that's one of the primary issues that you both have. They also don't trust a situation. It's like this person is on guard. All right. Tell me more about how this person feels about Sagittarius. All right. We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is the desire to actually work on the situation with you. But there's something that makes them just not believe. So I feel like this person, Sagittarius, has lost faith. Tell me more. It's like they want to work on it. They go back and forth, basically. You know, and, and that's the type of scattered energy that conflicts you because you're like wait a minute one minute you're like this the next minute you're like that but I feel that the person that you're dealing with Sagittarius is asking you to be accountable for something so they kind of feel like you're pointing the finger at them but they're looking for you to have some sort of responsibility in the reason why they don't trust or the reason why they're so defensive. They want you to take a look at what you've done. And of course, you feel like what you've done to them has no cure, right? When in fact, I feel like the only one that could cure 
this person is you. Seven of Cups, they're very confused. Four of Cups, but I don't see them dealing with anybody else. They're in their emotions, a bit reclusive. They still want to work on things, but they're guarded. They're confused about how you really do feel with the Seven of Cups here, okay? So let's take a look at the outcome between you and this person. Spirit, please talk to me about... Okay, that's way too much. Hold on. Talk to me about the outcome. Talk to me about... The Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me more about the outcome. The Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> Tell me more. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more. The Four of Cups, the Seven of Cups. One more. The Fool, Aries Energy. The Ace of Cups. All right. There's something that you can't deny to yourself, but I feel like you may be trying to brush something under the rug because you feel like you have to think a certain way right now. You're trying to prove something to yourself is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, and of course, you can fulfill anything you put your mind to. Just make sure that you're not lying to yourself in the process. Now, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, this is just trying to be balanced, trying to make sure the money's right. But I still see you very emotional here about a situation, you know. And you could be dealing with another fire sign, all right? You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It could be another Sag. But there's something that's going on with you and Taurus. which is why I've been focusing on the both of you for the past couple of weeks. And today I finally got the question from one of my clients. So this is meant to come to the surface and come to your attention at this time. It's urgent. This person feels, Sagittarius, that you're not willing to change. Even if you know what you would really like to do and what you wish you could do, they feel like you're going against what you really want. Because obviously you're the Ace of Cups for this person, Sagittarius, so <laughs> the biggest cup, right? All right, Sag, that's what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading, all that info is below. Thank you and take care.